Good morning YouTube. How is everybody? It's Owen Liz on the Suzuki 8S and I'm riding home from spending a week with my family in Somerset and I picked the best day to go home because it's the first day this year that we've had frost and it's come on really suddenly and it's actually there's quite a lot of frost you can't really see it now because the sun's come out but in the shade there's some thick fr uh, thick frost it's difficult to say but I need to get home today because I have a bunch of stuff at home that I need to do which I cannot do from here I'm gonna try and do 100 odd miles on the tank that I've got even though the tank that I've got says that I have 54 miles left but my experience with this bike is it's actually very pessimistic and it will do loads of miles on not a huge amount of petrol it said 80 miles a minute ago now it's saying 50 so I wonder if it's just happier on the motorway I don't know although this bike kind of sucks on the motorway there's nothing in front of you to stop the winds it's really unpleasant my fingers are already getting cold and I've only been out for like five minutes this is not good I had a comment on my last video telling me that I need to use the higher gears more which I understand but this bike just feels like it really really enjoys second and third I mean we can whack it into fourth now and it's just well, it's doing it I guess are we okay? no so it's the end of my second week of being fully self-employed and it's been great probably not making a huge amount of money I thought that I would spend a lot less money on food because I'm not tempted to go to Sainsbury's every day I'm not buying any meal deals I'm not buying stuff to make sandwiches and things like that or just feeling like I need snacks to get me through the day but actually what's happened is because I've been driving around a lot of places I've ended up going into so many different Starbucks and Costas to get iced coffee that I think it's worked out about as expensive which is not ideal and it's something that I need to really work on oh there's a tractor see I didn't even see it because the sun is in my eyes so badly it's so bright oh my god it's really close wow okay I've also got a cold which is good probably pick that up from the NEC if anyone goes to the NEC you probably know that the day after you come back from the NEC you've either got COVID or you've got something nasty just like a big old pool of people in a warm area touching the same things and standing really close to you like you're gonna catch something every single year well to be fair like I'm not that bad at the moment I'm just feeling a bit tired and the back of my throat is not pleasant I can still taste food which is the most important thing what do we reckon so things have gone 45 miles uh, see that's gonna make me worried I might have to just get some petrol like the bar thing says I've got three out of five which is obviously three-fifths more than half but it's telling me I've got 45 miles left in the tank when I've done over 100 miles already so that it's not adding up it doesn't make sense and uh, there was me thinking oh my god this bike has the best tank range in the world but maybe actually it doesn't it's just the bar system is a bit fucky sorry the bar system is a bit iffy inaccurate optimistic oh there we go it's gone down another bar wow okay that's a shame sorry to anyone that i misled by saying this bike is amazing on fuel i mean it's not bad it's like 58 mpg which is decent but it's not as good as I thought it was. I thought it was incredible. I thought it was God-defyingly good, but it's normal. Uh, I've just made this really awkward for myself. Okay. My nose is running down my face. There is nothing I can do about it. I like this time of year. This is my favorite time of year. Oh, it's nasty, but it's very beautiful and it's nice and quiet. It feels like more of an achievement when you actually go out. It's like, despite the horrors and discomfort, we go outside anyway because we are strong and resilient and a little bit stupid. It's because we love our bikes that much. They are more than something to just show off about. Even though right now I would like to be in a hot bubble bath. I'm gonna ride a hundred miles. I wonder if we will get snow this year. We didn't get snow last year. We had like three occasions for a week at a time 
where it was so cold it was absolutely freezing but it didn't snow it was just cold so you didn't even get to enjoy the fact that it was cold by being able to throw lumps of wet stuff at each other and call in to work and say i'm sorry but there's snow on the ground therefore i cannot use my vehicle it was just really really cold and unpleasant without the benefits so i do remember driving home from here same place but i'd taken my car and it did start snowing only very lightly it was enough that it was obviously snowing but it wasn't like settling on the ground or anything and i remember thinking oh i wish i brought my bike i could have stopped and taken a photo and then everyone could see how badass i am but i was literally in the car right well, we're about to go on the motorway so i'm gonna camera off and i'll catch up with you guys in a second okay this sucks i've decided is that man peeing those toilets like right behind you it's disgusting so i got to the end of the motorway and i stopped at that starbucks i thought oh my god i'm so cold i cannot feel my fingers this is so horrible i had to sit down i thought i was gonna be sick i guess it's not a good combination to have a cold and then also be in the cold like it doesn't even look that bad right now it looks lovely it doesn't look like it's as cold as it is but I thought I was actually gonna faint. Like I got lightheaded and everything and I've decided this bike is great and I really like this bike. This bike sucks in the winter. There is nothing here to protect you. There's nothing here. It doesn't have heated grips. Now I know these are all things that you can put on the bike. I don't know to what extent, like can you get the guard thingies for your handlebars? Is there, is there any way you can mount like a proper screen? I don't know. But as it is, I would rather be riding literally any other bike except Sfati, who is as bad, if not worse. This is so unpleasant. And I've done this to myself. I'm so cold. This is a fun video, isn't it? It's just me complaining. Standard. What's the worst, like, weather conditions that you've ridden in? I ask this a lot because it's fascinating to me, like, what people will put up with when does it stop being fun like this isn't the worst but i'm complaining right now because it is like it's my present state of being when i get home i'll probably get in the bubble bath i will warm up and i will think oh it wasn't that bad actually i don't know what i was complaining about but right now because it is my current state i am living in the presence right now and it is not very good but it also is not the worst that I have experienced. It's actually, you know, all things considered, not that bad. I like using this little route. It's just one road, but it goes through so many little villages, but it kind of breaks the route up a little bit and makes it feel like it's not taking as long as it's actually taking. It would be definitely quicker to just stay on the motorway, but the motorway, because it's so cold and boring, feels like it takes a lot longer than it does so rather than getting home quickly i'm just tricking my mind into thinking that i'm getting home quicker if that makes sense uh, we're halfway home uh, we're halfway home see now that i'm feeling a little bit better i'm definitely thinking back to like half an hour ago where i was so cold and then wondering was it even that bad? Like, your brain protects you from... And I know trauma is a strong word, but it is trauma, isn't it? It's, it stops you from remembering how physically bad things are. When you get a tattoo, and it fucking hurts. But you don't remember that it hurt that badly. Because I'm getting another one next weekend. And I don't remember it being that painful. But I know that it was that painful because at the time I said, I don't remember this being that painful. And the artist said like, yeah, your brain will allow you to forget the pain and then you'll have another one. And maybe it's the same with riding in cold weather. Your brain's looking after you, but really it's not helpful. Your brain is supposed to remember things that are bad so you don't do them again. Like, I know breaking my ankle was really, really excruciatingly painful. Like, I screamed the house down. But now when I think back, it's just like, yeah, that was pretty funny. It wasn't ideal. It was a minor blip in my life. No, no, it was pretty bad. Go on, little bus. You can go first. How far have we got? 40 miles. 
I don't often come this way, but there's a building this way that I used to really love. Like when I was a kid, I'd see it, and it's an abandoned hospital. I didn't know at the time because I was a child, but it's an abandoned, um, it's like a psychiatric unit or whatever they call them. Um, a really old building, very abandoned, very spooky, and I love the spooky things, so I was very fascinated by this building and they've turned it into flats which is wild to me because surely of the list of buildings that you don't repurpose as homes for people haunted mental hospital should be pretty far up the list like at least within the top 10 but no it's flats now it's creepy like there was a video on youtube a while back of some kids that broke into it so they could have a look around and just the vibes of the place like it is so spooky and i'm sure it's fine i'm sure it's a very above board or was a very above board facility there's something about them it's spooky anyway it's up this road and you can see like part of the original building is still there They've just kind of rendered it and covered it in magnolia so it doesn't look so spooky. I will show you. Oh, that's the police station. So that's that's being closed as well. I wonder what they're going to do with that. Maybe they're going to turn that into like a nursery or something. Here we go. It's this one here to your right. See? Uh, that is spooky. That's a spooky old building. Can we filter up through this lot? What do we reckon? Yeah, let's do a little bit. Probably won't upset the lorry. Okay, I am going to end this video before I say something else that's like severely unhinged and upset a bunch of you. I think I did get a comment like last week saying, oh, don't stop yourself from talking a bunch of crap. We enjoy it. Um, oh, that means the world to me. Thank you guys. But even I have my limits. So I will catch up with you soon. I hope everybody has a lovely week. Try to stay warm in this horrible weather, even though it's deceptively beautiful. And I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.